Okay, this will be the 85 millimeter 1.2 version 2 that we're going to take a look at here. We're going to compare the 1.2. Let's go in at 50% on this. 1.2 at um, and the 1.2 at 85 and we're going to do a couple of side-by-sides here. If you look to your left here, um, here's 1.8 at 400. So if I'm going to shoot that 1.2, I'm going to drop this down to 200 to get the equivalent. And let me just leave that up there and go to the next image. All right, so our focal point is here on these two images. So they're the same. And what I want you to observe is, let's see if I can back up, okay. You can pause this as you wish, but you can see how this is a softer image at 1.2 than at 1.8. And even at ISO 200, you're going to get a different um, color variation than ISO 400. Um, the white balance is 45 um, and 38. So if we go here and go to 45, will it be the same? We are 45 and 50, so we are pretty close. Pretty close. See so if we can knock that down to about 18, and let's put the difference. Okay, so you see that even at uh, 1.8 on this lens, you do get a different color um, at ISO 400 than at 200. So uh, let's move on to the next one, and I'll show you what I'm looking for. I want you to see here. See, I saw this is a totally untouched um, model. We just cleaned her face up for me real well, and we did this so we can so you can pixel peep if you want. Pause this and blow it up. I'll try to load it up high def, which means I better hurry this video up. It takes forever when they're high def. Um, info, and here we go. One and two. So same thing again. Notice the little kitty cats here upside down. Anyway. Look at the face here at 1.2. Look how beautifully soft that is and silky. It's beautiful. And here's the 1.8. Same lens, of course, um, but now you're getting a cleaner line. Um, 1.2. Same focal point. Yes, your eye is going to be sharper in the 1.8. That's, you know, that's depth of field. That's what this lens is known for, too, um, for its softness. I'm sorry, it's not just depth of field. It's the MTF charts. This lens does this. Um, real fast. Um, it gets the bokeh going on. Alright, at 1.2 it does have like a football bokeh. At 1.8 it's more round. Uh, okay, 1.8. One, one Let's see if get the right correct. This one and this one. Okay, so let me verify your focal points for you. 1 and 2. And your white balance. Let's just take a peek at it. 39 and 39.02. So this is, again, my point. Here's ISO 400. So you know it's brighter. You know automatically that's going to be the 1.8. And here's the 1.2. They were the metered dead center. But, of course, you don't see the same um, same light trans, uh, um, transmission. You see it. ISO 400, the sensor, is blowing out a lot. At 200, at 125, rather. Um, and that was close. That was close. This light, I moved my light source a little close, a little further away to be 125. Um, and here's the light source, obviously. But again, look at this cheek. Beautiful 1.2. And not offensive at 1.8 at all. Um, but just showing you that uh, 1.2 is soft. It's soft. Um, plus, you're going to have to raise your ISO up to get the same shot at 1.8. Now look what happens, you're losing detail. You're blowing it out, losing detail. All right, next shot, moving on. And this is the last shot and stands alone, 1.8. I had to dump the 1.2, it came out too soft, but I thought I'd leave it in here. Um, I thought I'd leave it in here. It's 1.8, 1.2, and this is something here. See? Let's see if we rotate it. See the kitty cats? Let's see if I can go back one and scroll down. See, they're cats. Black cat and a white cat. Upside down on nails. 
Okay, just having fun. Wish you guys all success. And take care. Stop recording.